Hi, today we're going to talk about Ruby, which you can see here, and Spinel, which you can see here, and why they've been confused for thousands of years, but it's now possible to test and separate them out pretty quickly. So you've no doubt heard about at least two of the most commonly confused gems. First, we have the Imperial Crown of Russia, which you can see here. This was called Catherine the Great's Ruby, but is in fact a 398 carat Spinel. And here we have the Imperial State Crown featuring another ruby that is actually a 170 carat spinel. So it's not actually stupid that they were confused. They form under the same conditions. They can be found in the same hosts. For example, on the left you have ruby hosted in marble. On the right you have spinel hosted in marble. Their red is both caused by chromium, trace elements of chromium, but in fact they have a different different crystal structure and chemical composition. Ruby is the red variety of the corundum mineral species, which also includes sapphire, and spinel is its own mineral group. So in order to separate these out, what we would do is the same thing that we discussed when looking at tourmaline versus pink topaz. You want to start by looking at the way in which the gem splits up the light, that is its refractive index. So we would start with our refractometer as before. Four. And as we said last time, the goal would be that their range in which they split the light is completely different. That was not the case before, but it happily is the case here. So I'll be using my GIA manual. We take our readings and it turns out that ruby corundum is 1.762 to 1.770. And when we compare that to spinel, which is 1.718, no range, they don't overlap at all. You could actually stop there but we won't. So when we look at our options, having established the difference, you can also look at their birefringence as before. Now in this case, Spinel doesn't have any. That means no matter what angle you test it at, you're not going to get a different reading. You should get 1.718 every single time versus Ruby, which will have a 0.008 to 0.01 range of birefringence. So we could use that to separate on top of the reading. We could also look at pleochroism. You will not see any in the spinel, but you will be able to see, let's say, an orangey tone, for example, in a ruby. As soon as you see a second color, you know you're not looking at a spinel. So hopefully that clears it up, and that is why we are able to say with certainty if we're looking at a ruby versus a spinel. Hope this helps. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe Alpha Gems World for more content.